The path integral formulation of quantum mechanics is a description of quantum theory that generalizes the action principle of classical mechanics. It replaces the classical notion of a single, unique classical trajectory for a system with a sum, or functional integral, over an infinity of quantum mechanically possible trajectories to compute a quantum amplitude. This formulation has proven crucial to the subsequent development of theoretical physics, because manifest Lorentz covariance time and space components of quantities enter equations in the same way is easier to achieve than in the operator formalism of canonical quantization. Unlike previous methods, the path integral allows a physicist to easily change coordinates between very different canonical descriptions of the same quantum system. Another advantage is that it is in practice easier to guess the correct form of the Lagrangian of a theory, which naturally enters the path integrals for interactions of a certain type, these are coordinate space or Feynman path integrals, than the Hamiltonian. Possible downsides of the approach include that unitarity this is related to conservation of probability, the probabilities of all physically possible outcomes must add up to one of the S matrix is obscure in the formulation. The path integral approach has been proved to be equivalent to the other formalisms of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory. Thus, by deriving either approach from the other, problems associated with one or the other approach as exemplified by Lorentz covariance or unitarity go away. The path integral also relates quantum and stochastic processes, and this provided the basis for the grand synthesis of the 1970s, which unified quantum field theory with the statistical field theory of a fluctuating field near a second-order phase transition. The Schrödinger equation is a diffusion equation with an imaginary diffusion constant, and the path integral is an analytic continuation of a method for summing up all possible random walks. The basic idea of the path integral formulation can be traced back to Norbert Wiener, who introduced the Wiener integral for solving problems in diffusion and Brownian motion. This idea was extended to the use of the Lagrangian in quantum mechanics by P. A. M. Dirac in his 1933 article. The complete method was developed in 1948 by Richard Feynman. Some preliminaries were worked out earlier in his doctoral work under the supervision of John Archibald Wheeler. The original motivation stemmed from the desire to obtain a quantum mechanical formulation for the Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory using a Lagrangian rather than a Hamiltonian as a starting point. Topic: <laughs> Quantum action principle. In quantum mechanics, as in classical mechanics, the Hamiltonian is the generator of time translations. This means that the state at a slightly later time differs from the state at the current time by the result of acting with the Hamiltonian operator multiplied by the negative imaginary unit, minus i. For states with a definite energy, this is a statement of the de Broglie relation between frequency and energy, and the general relation is consistent with that plus the superposition principle. The Hamiltonian in classical mechanics is derived from a Lagrangian, which is a more fundamental quantity relative to special relativity. The Hamiltonian indicates how to march forward in time, but the time is different in different reference frames. The Lagrangian is a Lorentz scalar, while the Hamiltonian is the time component of a four-vector. So the Hamiltonian is different in different frames, and this type of symmetry is not apparent in the original formulation of quantum mechanics. The Hamiltonian is a function of the position and momentum at one time, and it determines the position and momentum a little later. The Lagrangian is a function of the position now and the position a little later or, equivalently for infinitesimal time separations, it is a function of the position and velocity. The relation between the two is by a Legendre transformation, and the condition that determines the classical equations of motion the Euler-Lagrange equations is that the action has an extremum. In quantum mechanics, the Legendre transform is hard to interpret, because the motion is not over a definite trajectory. In classical mechanics, with discretization in time, the Legendre transform becomes epsilon h equals p t q t plus epsilon minus q t minus epsilon l display style var epsilon h equals p t big q t plus var epsilon q t big var epsilon l and p equals l q 
display style p equals frac partial l partial dot q where the partial derivative with respect to q display style dot q holds q t plus epsilon fixed the inverse legendre transform is epsilon l equals epsilon p q minus epsilon h display style var epsilon l equals var epsilon p dot q var epsilon h where q equals h p display style dot q equals frac partial h partial p and the partial derivative now is with respect to p at fixed q in quantum mechanics, the state is a superposition of different states with different values of q, or different values of p, and the quantities p and q can be interpreted as noncommuting operators. The operator p is only definite on states that are indefinite with respect to q. So consider two states separated in time and act with the operator corresponding to the Lagrangian e i p q t plus epsilon minus q t minus epsilon h p q display style e caret i big p big q t plus var epsilon q t big var epsilon h p q big if the multiplications implicit in this formula are reinterpreted as matrix multiplications, the first factor is E minus I P Q T display style E caret I P Q T, and if this is also interpreted as a matrix multiplication, the sum over all states integrates over all Q T, and so it takes the Fourier transform in Q T to change basis to P T. That is the action on the Hilbert space, change basis to p at time t. Next comes e minus i epsilon h p q display style e caret i var epsilon h p q or evolve an infinitesimal time into the future. Finally, the last factor in this interpretation is e i p q t plus epsilon display style e caret i p q t plus var epsilon which means change basis back to q at a later time this is not very different from just ordinary time evolution the h factor contains all the dynamical information it pushes the state forward in time the first part and the last part are just Fourier transforms to change to a pure Q basis from an intermediate P basis. Another way of saying this is that since the Hamiltonian is naturally a function of P and Q, exponentiating this quantity and changing basis from P to Q at each step allows the matrix element of H to be expressed as a simple function along each path. This function is the quantum analog of the classical action. This observation is due to Paul Dirac. Dirac further noted that one could square the time evolution operator in the S representation. E I epsilon S display style E caret I var epsilon S, and this gives the time evolution operator between time t and time t plus two epsilon. While in the H representation the quantity that is being summed over the intermediate states is an obscure matrix element, in the S representation it is reinterpreted as a quantity associated to the path. In the limit that one takes a large power of this operator, one reconstructs the full quantum evolution between two states, the early one with a fixed value of Q and the later one with a fixed value of Q The result is a sum over paths with a phase, which is the quantum action. Crucially, Dirac identified in this article the deep quantum mechanical reason for the principle of least action controlling the classical limit see quotation box. Topic. Feynman's interpretation Dirac's work did not provide a precise prescription to calculate the sum over paths, and he did not show that one could recover the Schrödinger equation or the canonical commutation relations from this rule. 
This was done by Feynman. That is, the classical path arises naturally in the classical limit. Feynman showed that Dirac's quantum action was, for most cases of interest, simply equal to the classical action, appropriately discretized. This means that the classical action is the phase acquired by quantum evolution between two fixed endpoints. He proposed to recover all of quantum mechanics from the following postulates. The probability for an event is given by the squared modulus of a complex number called the probability amplitude. The probability amplitude is given by adding together the contributions of all paths in configuration space. The contribution of a path is proportional to ice, h, where s is the action given by the time integral of the Lagrangian along the path. In order to find the overall probability amplitude for a given process, then, one adds up, or integrates, the amplitude of the third postulate over the space of all possible paths of the system in between the initial and final states, including those that are absurd by classical standards. In calculating the probability amplitude for a single particle to go from one spacetime coordinate to another, it is correct to include paths in which the particle describes elaborate curlicues, curves in which the particle shoots off into outer space and flies back again, and so forth. The path integral assigns to all these amplitudes equal weight but varying phase, or argument of the complex number. Contributions from paths wildly different from the classical trajectory may be suppressed by interference see below. Feynman showed that this formulation of quantum mechanics is equivalent to the canonical approach to quantum mechanics when the Hamiltonian is at most quadratic in the momentum. An amplitude computed according to Feynman's principles will also obey the Schrödinger equation for the Hamiltonian corresponding to the given action. The path integral formulation of quantum field theory represents the transition amplitude corresponding to the classical correlation function as a weighted sum of all possible histories of the system from the initial to the final state. A Feynman diagram is a graphical representation of a perturbative contribution to the transition amplitude. Topic: <laughs> Path integral in quantum mechanics. Topic time slicing derivation One common approach to deriving the path integral formula is to divide the time interval into small pieces. Once this is done, the Trotter product formula tells us that the noncommutativity of the kinetic and potential energy operators can be ignored. For a particle in a smooth potential, the path integral is approximated by zigzag paths, which in one dimension is a product of ordinary integrals. For the motion of the particle from position x a at time ta to x b at time t b, the time sequence t a equals t zero t one t n minus one t n t n plus one equals t b. Display style t underscore a equals t underscore zero can be divided up into n plus one smaller segments t j minus t j minus one, where j equals one, n plus one, a fixed duration epsilon equals delta t equals t b minus t a n plus one. Display style var epsilon equals delta t equals frac t underscore b t underscore a n plus one. This process is called time slicing. An approximation for the path integral can be computed as proportional to minus infinity plus infinity minus infinity plus infinity. EXP I T A T B L X T V T D T D X zero D X N Display style int limits underscore in a t carrot plus in a t c d o t s int limits underscore in a t carrot plus in a t e x p left f r a c i h b a r int underscore t underscore a carrot t underscore b l big x t v t big d t right d x underscore zero c d o t s d x underscore n 
where L x, v is the Lagrangian of the one-dimensional system with position variable x t and velocity v equals x t considered c below, and dxj corresponds to the position at the jth time step, if the time integral is approximated by a sum of n terms, in the limit n infinity, this becomes a functional integral, which, apart from a non-essential factor, is directly the product of the probability amplitudes x b, t b, x a, ta more precisely, since one must work with a continuous spectrum spectrum, the respective densities to find the quantum mechanical particle at Ta in the initial state Xa and at Tb in the final state Xb. Actually L is the classical Lagrangian of the one-dimensional system considered L x x equals T minus V equals 1 2 M x 2 minus v x display style l x dot x equals t v equals frac 1 2 m dot x caret 2 v x and the above mentioned zigzagging corresponds to the appearance of the terms exp i epsilon j equals 1 N plus one L x tilde J x J minus x J minus one epsilon J Display style exp left frac i h b a r var epsilon sum underscore j equals one caret n plus one l left tilde x underscore j frac x underscore j x underscore j one var epsilon j right right. In the Riemann sum approximating the time integral, which are finally integrated over x one to x n with the integration measure dx one. Dot dxn, x, j is an arbitrary value of the interval corresponding to j, e.g. its center, xj plus xj minus one half. Thus, in contrast to classical mechanics, not only does the stationary path contribute, but actually all virtual paths between the initial and the final point also contribute. Topic: <laughs> Path integral formula. In terms of the wave function in the position representation, the path integral formula reads as follows: psi x t equals one z x zero equals x d x e i s x x Psi zero x t display style psi x t equals frac one z int underscore math bf x zero equals x math call d math bf x e caret is math bf x dot math bf x psi underscore zero math bf x t where d x Display style math call d math bf x denotes integration over all paths x display style math bf x with x zero equals x display style math bf x zero equals x and where z display style z is a normalization factor. Here, s display style s is the action given by s x x equals d t l x t x t display style s math bf x dot math bf x equals int dt l math bf x t dot math bf x t topic free particle 
The path integral representation gives the quantum amplitude to go from point X to point Y as an integral over all paths. For a free particle action, for simplicity, let m. Topic one h one s equals x two two d t display style s equals int frac dot x caret two two d t the integral can be evaluated explicitly. To do this, it is convenient to start without the factor i in the exponential, so that large deviations are suppressed by small numbers, not by cancelling oscillatory contributions. k x minus y t equals x 0 equals x x t equals y exp minus 0 t x 2 2 d t d x Display style k x y t equals int underscore x zero equals x caret x t equals y e x p left int underscore zero caret t frac dot x caret two two d t right d x. Splitting the integral into time slices, k x y t equals x zero equals x x t equals y t exp minus 1 2 x t plus epsilon minus x t epsilon 2 epsilon D x display style k x y t equals int underscore x zero equals x caret x t equals y prod underscore t e x p left t f r a c one two left f r a c x t plus var epsilon x t var epsilon right caret two var epsilon right d x where the d x is interpreted as a finite collection of integrations at each integer multiple of epsilon. Each factor in the product is a Gaussian as a function of x t plus epsilon centered at x t with variance epsilon. The multiple integrals are a repeated convolution of this Gaussian g epsilon with copies of itself at adjacent times. K x minus y t equals g epsilon g epsilon g Epsilon display style k x y t equals g underscore var epsilon asterisk g underscore var epsilon asterisk c d o t s asterisk g underscore var epsilon, where the number of convolutions is t epsilon. The result is easy to evaluate by taking the Fourier transform of both sides, so that the convolutions become multiplications. K tilde p t equals g tilde epsilon p t epsilon display style tilde k p t equals tilde g underscore var epsilon p caret t var epsilon the fourier transform of the gaussian g is another gaussian of reciprocal variance g tilde epsilon p equals e minus epsilon p 2 2 display style tilde g underscore var epsilon p equals e caret frac var epsilon p caret 2 2 and the result is k tilde p t equals e minus T P 
2 2 display style tilde k p t equals e caret frac t p caret 2 2 the fourier transform gives k and it is a gaussian again with reciprocal variance k x minus y t e minus x minus y 2 2 t display style k x y t propto e caret frac x y caret 2 2 t the proportionality constant is not really determined by the time slicing approach only the ratio of values for different endpoint choices is determined the proportionality constant should be chosen to ensure that between each two time slices the time evolution is quantum mechanically unitary, but a more illuminating way to fix the normalization is to consider the path integral as a description of a stochastic process. The result has a probability interpretation. The sum over all paths of the exponential factor can be seen as the sum over each path of the probability of selecting that path. The probability is the product over each segment of the probability of selecting that segment, so that each segment is probabilistically independently chosen. The fact that the answer is a Gaussian spreading linearly in time is the central limit theorem, which can be interpreted as the first historical evaluation of a statistical path integral. The probability interpretation gives a natural normalization choice. The path integral should be defined so that k x minus Y T D Y equals one. Display style int k x y t die equals one. This condition normalizes the Gaussian and produces a kernel that obeys the diffusion equation. D D T K X T equals two. 2 k display style frac d dt k x t equals frac nabla caret 2 2 k for oscillatory path integrals ones with an i in the numerator the time slicing produces convolved gaussians just as before now however the convolution product is marginally singular since it requires careful limits to evaluate the oscillating integrals to make the factors well defined, the easiest way is to add a small imaginary part to the time increment epsilon. This is closely related to Wick rotation. Then the same convolution argument as before gives the propagation kernel k x minus y t e i x minus y two two T display style k x y t propto e caret frac i x y caret two two t, which with the same normalization as before, not the sum squares normalization. This function has a divergent norm, obeys a free Schrödinger equation. D D T K X T equals i two Two K display style frac d d t k x t equals i frac nabla caret two two K. This means that any superposition of Ks will also obey the same equation by linearity. Defining psi t y equals psi zero x K x minus y t d x equals psi 0 x x 0 equals x x t equals y e i s d x 
Display style psi underscore t y equals int psi underscore zero x k x y t dx equals int psi underscore zero x int underscore x zero equals x caret x t equals y e caret is dx. Then psi t obeys the free Schrödinger equation just as k does. I t psi t equals minus Two, two, psi, t. Display style i frac partial partial t psi underscore t equals frac nabla caret two two psi underscore t. Topic: Simple harmonic oscillator. The Lagrangian for the simple harmonic oscillator is L equals 1 2 m x 2 minus 1 2 m omega 2 x 2 Display style math call L equals TFRAC one two M dot x carrot two TFRAC one two M omega carrot two x carrot two. Write its trajectory x t as the classical trajectory plus some perturbation x t. Topic x c t plus delta x t and the action as s. S C plus delta S. The classical trajectory can be written as X C T equals X I sin omega T F minus T sin omega T F minus T I plus x f sin omega t minus t i sin omega t f minus t i Display style x underscore text c t equals x underscore i frac sin omega t underscore f t sin omega t underscore f t underscore i plus x underscore f frac sin omega t t underscore i sin omega t underscore f t underscore i. This trajectory yields the classical action s c equals t. I T F L D T equals T I T F one two M X two minus one two M Omega two x 2 d t equals 1 2 m omega x i 2 plus x f 2 cos omega t f minus t i Minus two x i x f sin omega t f minus t i display style begin aligned s underscore text c and equals int underscore t underscore i caret t underscore f math call l d t equals int underscore t underscore i caret t underscore f left t f r a c one two m dot x caret two t f r a c one two m omega caret two x caret two right d t six p t and equals f r a c one two m omega 
left frac x underscore i carrot two plus x underscore f carrot two cos omega t underscore f t underscore i two x underscore i x underscore f sin omega t underscore f t underscore i right tilde end aligned Next, expand the non-classical contribution to the action delta S as a Fourier series, which gives S equals S C plus N equals one infinity one two A N two M two N Pi two T F minus T I minus Omega two T F minus T I Display style s equals s underscore text c plus sum underscore n equals one caret n f t t f r a c one two a underscore n caret two f r a c m two left f r a c n pi caret two t underscore f t underscore i omega caret two t underscore f t underscore i right. This means that the propagator is k x f T F X I T I equals Q E I S C J equals one infinity J Pi two D A J exp i 2 a j 2 m 2 j pi 2 t f minus t i minus omega 2 t f Minus T I equals E I S C Q J equals one infinity one minus Omega T F minus T I J pi two minus one two display style begin aligned k x underscore f t underscore f x underscore i t underscore i and equals q e caret frac is underscore text c h b a r prod underscore j equals one caret n f t frac j pi s q r t two int da underscore j e x p left frac i two h b a r underscore j caret two frac m two left frac J pi carrot two T underscore F T underscore I omega carrot two T underscore F T underscore I right right six P T and equals E carrot F R A C is underscore text C H B A R Q prod underscore J equals one carrot in a T left one left F R A C omega T underscore F T underscore I J pi right carrot two right carrot F R A C one two end aligned for some normalization Q equals M two pi i t f minus t i display style q equals s q r t f r a c m two pi i h b a r t underscore f t underscore i tilde. Using the infinite product representation of the sinc function, j equals one infinity one minus x two j. 2 equals sin pi x pi x 
Display style prod underscore j equals one carrot in t left one frac x carrot two j carrot two right equals frac sin pi x pi x. The propagator can be written as k x f t f x i t i equals q e i s c omega t f minus t i sin omega t f minus t i equals e i s c m omega 2 pi i sin omega t f minus t i Display style k x underscore f t underscore f x underscore i t underscore i equals q e caret frac is underscore text c h b a r s q r t frac omega t underscore f t underscore i sin omega t underscore f t underscore i equals e caret frac is underscore c h b a r s q r t frac m omega two pi i h b a r sin omega t underscore f t underscore i let t equals t f minus t one may write this propagator in terms of energy eigenstates as k x f t f x i t i equals m omega 2 pi i Sin Omega T one two EXP I one two M Omega X I two plus X F two Cuz Omega T Minus two x i x f sin omega t equals n equals zero infinity exp minus i E N T Psi N X F Psi N X I Display style begin aligned K X underscore F T underscore F X underscore I T underscore I and equals left F R A C M Omega two Pi I H B A R Sin Omega T right carrot F R A C one two E X P left F R A C I H B A R T F R A C one two M Omega F R A C X underscore I carrot two plus X underscore F carrot two Cos omega t two x underscore i x underscore f sin omega t right six p t and equals sum underscore n equals zero caret in a t e x p left frac i e underscore n t h b a r right psi underscore n x underscore f caret asterisk psi underscore n x underscore i tilde end aligned using the identities i sin omega t. Topic one half a omega t one minus e minus two i omega t and cos omega t one half a omega t one plus e minus two i omega t. This amounts to k x f t f x i t i equals M Omega Pi one two E minus I Omega T two one minus E minus 
2 i omega t minus 1 2 exp minus m omega 2 x i 2 plus x f 2 1 plus e minus 2 i omega t 1 minus e minus 2 i omega t minus 4 x i x f e minus i omega t 1 minus e minus 2 i omega t Display style k x underscore f t underscore f x underscore i t underscore i equals left frac m omega pi h b a r right caret frac one two e caret frac i omega t two left one e caret two i omega t right caret frac one two e x p left frac m omega two h b a r left left x underscore i caret two plus x underscore f caret two Right frac one plus e caret two i omega t one e caret two i omega t frac four x underscore i x underscore f e caret i omega t one e caret two i omega t right right. One may absorb all terms after the first e minus i omega t two into r t, thereby obtaining k x f t f x I T I equals M Omega Pi one two E minus I Omega T two R T Display style k x underscore f t underscore f x underscore i t underscore i equals left frac m omega pi h bar right caret frac one two e caret frac i omega t two c d o t r t. One may finally expand r t in powers of e minus i omega t. All terms in this expansion get multiplied by the e minus i omega t two factor in the front, yielding terms of the form e minus i omega t two e minus i n omega t equals E minus I Omega T one two plus N four N equals zero one two Display style e caret frac i omega t two e caret in omega t equals e caret i omega t left frac one two plus n right quad text for n equals zero one two l dots. Comparison to the above eigenstate expansion yields the standard energy spectrum for the simple harmonic oscillator. E n equals n plus one two omega display style e underscore n equals left n plus t f r a c one two right h b a r omega tilde. Topic Coulomb potential. Feynman's time-sliced approximation does not, however, exist for the most important quantum mechanical path integrals of atoms, due to the singularity of the Coulomb potential E2, R at the origin. Only after replacing the time t by another path-dependent pseudo-time parameter S equals D 
T R T display style s equals int frac dt r t the singularity is removed and a time sliced approximation exists which is exactly integrable since it can be made harmonic by a simple coordinate transformation as discovered in 1979 by Ismail Haki Duru and Hagen Kleinert the combination of a path dependent time transformation and a coordinate transformation is an important tool to solve many path integrals and is called generically the Duru Kleinert transformation Topic: The Schrödinger equation. The path integral reproduces the Schrödinger equation for the initial and final state even when a potential is present. This is easiest to see by taking a path integral over infinitesimally separated times. Psi y t plus epsilon equals minus infinity. Infinity psi x t x t equals x x t plus epsilon equals y e i t t plus epsilon x two Two minus v x d t d x t d x one Display style psi y t plus var epsilon equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t psi x t int underscore x t equals x carrot x t plus var epsilon equals y e carrot i int limits underscore t carrot t plus var epsilon left frac dot x carrot two two v x right d t d x t d x q quad one since the time separation is infinitesimal and the cancelling oscillations become severe for large values of x, the path integral has most weight for y close to x. In this case, to lowest order the potential energy is constant, and only the kinetic energy contribution is nontrivial. This separation of the kinetic and potential energy terms in the exponent is essentially the Trotter product formula. The exponential of the action is e minus i epsilon v x e i x 2 2 epsilon display style e caret i var epsilon v x e caret i frac dot x caret 2 2 var epsilon the first term rotates the phase of psi x locally by an amount proportional to the potential energy the second term is the free particle propagator, corresponding to I times a diffusion process. To lowest order in epsilon they are additive, in any case one has with 1 psi y t plus epsilon approximately equals psi x t e minus I epsilon V x e i x minus y two two epsilon d x Display style psi y t plus var epsilon approximately int psi x t e caret i var epsilon v x e caret frac i x y caret two two var epsilon d x as mentioned, the spread in psi is diffusive from the free particle propagation, with an extra infinitesimal rotation in phase which slowly varies from point to point from the potential. Psi t equals i 1 2 2 minus v x psi Display style frac partial psi partial t equals i c d o t left t frac one two nabla caret two v x right psi, and this is the Schrödinger equation. 
Note that the normalization of the path integral needs to be fixed in exactly the same way as in the free particle case. An arbitrary continuous potential does not affect the normalization, although singular potentials require careful treatment. Topic: <laughs> Equations of motion. Since the states obey the Schrodinger equation, the path integral must reproduce the Heisenberg equations of motion for the averages of x and x variables, but it is instructive to see this directly. The direct approach shows that the expectation values calculated from the path integral reproduce the usual ones of quantum mechanics. Start by considering the path integral with some fixed initial state psi 0 x x 0 equals x e i s x x d x display style int psi underscore 0 x int underscore x 0 equals x e caret is x dot x dx now note that x t at each separate time is a separate integration variable so it is legitimate to change variables in the integral by shifting x t topic u t plus epsilon t where epsilon t is a different shift at each time but epsilon 0 epsilon t equals 0 since the endpoints are not integrated psi 0 x u 0 equals x e i s u plus epsilon u plus epsilon d u Display style int psi underscore zero x int underscore u zero equals x e caret is u plus var epsilon dot u plus dot var epsilon do. The change in the integral from the shift is to first infinitesimal order in epsilon psi zero x u zero equals x s u epsilon plus s u epsilon d t e i s d u display style int psi underscore 0 x int underscore u 0 equals x left int frac partial s partial u var epsilon plus frac partial s partial dot u dot var epsilon dt right e caret is do which integrating by parts in t gives psi 0 x u 0 equals x minus d d t s u minus s u epsilon t d t e i s d u Display style int psi underscore zero x int underscore u zero equals x left int left frac d d t frac partial s partial dot u frac partial s partial u right var epsilon t d t right e caret is do. But this was just a shift of integration variables, which doesn't change the value of the integral for any choice of epsilon t. The conclusion is that this first order variation is zero for an arbitrary initial state and at any arbitrary point in time. Psi zero delta s delta x t psi zero equals zero. Display style left Langle psi underscore zero left frac delta s delta x t right psi underscore zero right wrangle equals zero. This is the Heisenberg equation of motion. 
If the action contains terms which multiply x and x, at the same moment in time, the manipulations above are only heuristic, because the multiplication rules for these quantities is just as noncommuting in the path integral as it is in the operator formalism. Topic. Stationary phase approximation If the variation in the action exceeds h by many orders of magnitude, we typically have destructive interference other than in the vicinity of those trajectories satisfying the Euler-Lagrange equation, which is now reinterpreted as the condition for constructive interference. This can be shown using the method of stationary phase applied to the propagator. As h decreases, the exponential in the integral oscillates rapidly in the complex domain for any change in the action. Thus, in the limit that h goes to zero, only points where the classical action does not vary contribute to the propagator. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Canonical commutation relations. The formulation of the path integral does not make it clear at first sight that the quantities x and p do not commute. In the path integral, these are just integration variables and they have no obvious ordering. Feynman discovered that the non-commutativity is still present. To see this, consider the simplest path integral, the Brownian walk. This is not yet quantum mechanics, so in the path integral the action is not multiplied by i s equals d x d t 2 d t Display style s equals int left frac dx dt right caret 2 dt. The quantity x t is fluctuating, and the derivative is defined as the limit of a discrete difference d x d t equals x t plus epsilon minus x t Epsilon display style frac dx dt equals frac x t plus var epsilon x t var epsilon. Note that the distance that a random walk moves is proportional to square root t, so that x t plus epsilon minus x t approximately equals epsilon. Display style x t plus var epsilon x t approximately sqrt var epsilon. This shows that the random walk is not differentiable, since the ratio that defines the derivative diverges with probability one. The quantity x x is ambiguous, with two possible meanings. One equals x d x d t equals x t x t plus epsilon minus x t epsilon display style 1 equals x frac dx dt equals x t frac x t plus var epsilon x t var epsilon 2 equals x d x d t equals x t plus epsilon x t plus epsilon minus x t epsilon Display style two equals x frac dx dt equals x t plus var epsilon frac x t plus var epsilon x t var epsilon. In elementary calculus, the two are only different by an amount which goes to zero as epsilon goes to zero. But in this case, the difference between the two is not zero. Two minus one equals x t plus epsilon minus x t 2 epsilon approximately equals epsilon epsilon 
Display style two one equals FRAC big X T plus var epsilon X T big carrot two var epsilon approximately FRAC var epsilon var epsilon. Give a name to the value of the difference for any one random walk X T plus epsilon minus X T two epsilon equals F T display style frac big X T plus var epsilon X T big caret two var epsilon equals F T and note that F T is a rapidly fluctuating statistical quantity whose average value is one, i.e. a normalized Gaussian process. The fluctuations of such a quantity can be described by a statistical Lagrangian L equals F T minus one two display style math call L equals F T minus one carrot two and the equations of motion for F derived from extremizing the action S corresponding to L just set it equal to one. In physics, such a quantity is equal to one as an operator identity. In mathematics, it weakly converges to one. In either case, it is 1 in any expectation value, or when averaged over any interval, or for all practical purpose. Defining the time order to be the operator order x x equals x d x d t minus d x d t x equals 1 display style x dot x equals x frac dx dt frac dx dt x equals 1 this is called the eto lemma in stochastic calculus and the euclidianized canonical commutation relations in physics for a general statistical action a similar argument shows that x s x equals one display style left x frac partial s partial dot x right equals one, and in quantum mechanics, the extra imaginary unit in the action converts this to the canonical commutation relation x p equals i display style x p equals i. Topic particle in curved space. For a particle in curved space the kinetic term depends on the position, and the above time slicing cannot be applied, this being a manifestation of the notorious operator ordering problem in Schrödinger quantum mechanics. One may, however, solve this problem by transforming the time-sliced flat space path integral to curved space using a multivalued coordinate transformation non-holonomic mapping explained here. Topic. Measure theoretic factors Sometimes e a particle moving in curved space, we also have measure theoretic factors in the functional integral mu x e i s x d x display style int mu x e caret is x math call d x this factor is needed to restore unitarity. For instance, if S equals M two G I J X I X J minus V X D T Display style s equals int left frac m two g underscore i j dot x caret i dot x caret j v x right d t. Then it means that each spatial slice is multiplied by the measure square root g. This measure cannot be expressed as a functional multiplying the d x measure because they belong to entirely different classes. Topic. Euclidean path integrals 
It is very common in path integrals to perform a wick rotation from real to imaginary times. In the setting of quantum field theory, the wick rotation changes the geometry of spacetime from Lorentzian to Euclidean. As a result, wick rotated path integrals are often called Euclidean path integrals. Topic: <laughs> Wick rotation and the Feynman KAC formula. If we replace t display style t by minus i t display style it the time evolution operator e minus i t h caret display style e caret it hat h h b a r is replaced by e minus t h caret display style e caret t hat h h b a r this change is known as a wick rotation if we repeat the derivation of the path integral formula in this setting we obtain psi x t equals 1 z x 0 equals x e minus s e u c l i d e a n x x psi 0 x t d x Display style psi x t equals frac 1 z int underscore math bf x 0 equals x e caret s underscore mathrm Euclidean math bf x dot math bf x h bar psi underscore 0 math bf x t math call d math bf x where s e u c l I D E A N display style s underscore mathrm Euclidean is the Euclidean action given by s e u c l i d e a n x x equals M two x t two plus v x t d t Display style s underscore mathrm Euclidean math bf x dot math bf x equals int left frac m two dot math bf x t caret two plus v math bf x t right d t. Note the sign change between this and the normal action, where the potential energy term is negative. The term Euclidean is from the context of quantum field theory, where the change from real to imaginary time changes the space-time geometry from Lorentzian to Euclidean. Now, the contribution of the kinetic energy to the path integral is as follows: 1 z x 0 equals x f x e minus m 2 x 2 d t d x display style frac 1 z int underscore math bf x 0 equals x f math bf x e caret frac m 2 int dot math bf x caret 2 d t math call d math bf x where f x Display style f math bf x includes all the remaining dependence of the integrand on the path. This integral has a rigorous mathematical interpretation as integration against the Wiener measure, denoted mu x display style mu underscore x 
The Wiener measure, constructed by Norbert Wiener gives a rigorous foundation to Einstein's mathematical model of Brownian motion. The subscript x display style x indicates that the measure mu x display style mu underscore x is supported on paths x display style math bf x with x zero equals x display style math bf x zero equals x we then have a rigorous version of the Feynman path integral, known as the Feynman KAC formula. Psi x t equals e minus v x t d t psi zero x t d mu x x display style psi x t equals int e caret int v math bf x t dt h bar psi underscore zero math bf x t d mu underscore x math bf x where now psi x t display style psi x t satisfies the wick rotated version of the schrodinger equation t psi x t equals minus h caret psi x t display style h bar frac partial partial t psi x t equals hat h psi x t Although the Wick rotated Schrödinger equation does not have a direct physical meaning, interesting properties of the Schrödinger operator h caret display style hat h can be extracted by studying it. Much of the study of quantum field theories from the path integral perspective in both the mathematics and physics literatures is done in the Euclidean setting, that is, after a Wick rotation. In particular, there are various results showing that if a Euclidean field theory with suitable properties can be constructed, one can then undo the Wick rotation to recover the physical, Lorentzian theory. On the other hand, it is much more difficult to give a meaning to path integrals even Euclidean path integrals in quantum field theory than in quantum mechanics. The path integral and the partition function The path integral is just the generalization of the integral above to all quantum mechanical problems. Z equals E I S X D X where S X equals zero T L X T x t d t display style z equals int e caret frac i math call s math bf x h bar math call d math bf x quad text where math call s math bf x equals int underscore zero caret t l math bf x t dot math bf x t d t is the action of the classical problem in which one investigates the path starting at time t. Topic <laughs> zero and ending at time t. T and d x display style math call d math bf x denotes integration over all paths. In the classical limit s x display style math call s math bf x g g h bar the path of minimum action dominates the integral because the phase of any path away from this fluctuates rapidly and different contributions cancel the connection with statistical mechanics follows considering only paths which begin and end in the same configuration perform the wick rotation at topic 
tau, i.e., make time imaginary, and integrate over all possible beginning ending configurations. The wick rotated path integral described in the previous subsection, with the ordinary action replaced by its Euclidean counterpart now resembles the partition function of statistical mechanics defined in a canonical ensemble with inverse temperature proportional to imaginary time, 1, t. Kb tau, h. Strictly speaking, though, this is the partition function for a statistical field theory. Clearly, such a deep analogy between quantum mechanics and statistical mechanics cannot be dependent on the formulation. In the canonical formulation, one sees that the unitary evolution operator of a state is given by alpha t equals e minus i h t alpha zero. Display style alpha t wrangle equals e caret frac i h t h bar alpha zero wrangle where the state alpha is evolved from time t equals zero. If one makes a wick rotation here, and finds the amplitude to go from any state, back to the same state in imaginary time it is given by z equals tr e minus h t display style z equals operator name tr left e caret frac h t h bar right which is precisely the partition function of statistical mechanics for the same system at temperature quoted earlier. One aspect of this equivalence was also known to Erwin Schrödinger who remarked that the equation named after him looked like the diffusion equation after Wick rotation. Note, however, that the Euclidean path integral is actually in the form of a classical statistical mechanics model. Quantum field theory. Both the Schrödinger and Heisenberg approaches to quantum mechanics single out time and are not in the spirit of relativity. For example, the Heisenberg approach requires that scalar field operators obey the commutation relation phi x t phi y equals i delta 3 x minus y Display style var phi x partial underscore t var phi y equals i delta caret three x y for two simultaneous spatial positions x and y, and this is not a relativistically invariant concept. The results of a calculation are covariant, but the symmetry is not apparent in intermediate stages. If naive field theory calculations did not produce infinite answers in the continuum limit, this would not have been such a big problem. It would just have been a bad choice of coordinates. But the lack of symmetry means that the infinite quantities must be cut off, and the bad coordinates make it nearly impossible to cut off the theory without spoiling the symmetry. This makes it difficult to extract the physical predictions, which require a careful limiting procedure. The problem of lost symmetry also appears in classical mechanics, where the Hamiltonian formulation also superficially singles out time. The Lagrangian formulation makes the relativistic invariance apparent. In the same way, the path integral is manifestly relativistic. It reproduces the Schrödinger equation, the Heisenberg equations of motion, and the canonical commutation relations and shows that they are compatible with relativity. It extends the Heisenberg type operator algebra to operator product rules, which are new relations difficult to see in the old formalism. Further, different choices of canonical variables lead to very different seeming formulations of the same theory. The transformations between the variables can be very complicated, but the path integral makes them into reasonably straightforward changes of integration variables. For these reasons, the Feynman path integral has made earlier formalisms largely obsolete. The price of a path integral representation is that the unitarity of a theory is no longer self-evident, but it can be proven by changing variables to some canonical representation. The path integral itself also deals with larger mathematical spaces than as usual, which requires more careful mathematics, not all of which has been fully worked out. The path integral historically was not immediately accepted, partly because it took many years to incorporate fermions properly. 
This required physicists to invent an entirely new mathematical object, the Grassmann variable, which also allowed changes of variables to be done naturally, as well as allowing constrained quantization. The integration variables in the path integral are subtly non-commuting. The value of the product of two field operators at what looks like the same point depends on how the two points are ordered in space and time. This makes some naive identities fail. Topic. The propagator In relativistic theories, there is both a particle and field representation for every theory. The field representation is a sum over all field configurations, and the particle representation is a sum over different particle paths. The nonrelativistic formulation is traditionally given in terms of particle paths, not fields. There, the path integral in the usual variables, with fixed boundary conditions, gives the probability amplitude for a particle to go from point x to point y in time t k x y t equals y t x 0 equals x 0 equals x x t equals y e i s x d x display style k x y t equals langle y t mid x 0 wrangle equals int underscore x 0 equals x caret x t equals y e caret is x dx this is called the propagator Superposing different values of the initial position x with an arbitrary initial state psi 0 x constructs the final state psi t y equals x psi 0 x k x y t d x equals x T equals Y psi zero X zero E I S X D X Display style psi underscore T Y equals int underscore x psi underscore zero x k x y t dx equals int carrot x t equals y psi underscore zero x zero e carrot is x dx for a spatially homogeneous system where k x y is only a function of x minus y, the integral is a convolution, the final state is the initial state convolved with the propagator psi T equals psi zero k t display style psi underscore t equals psi underscore zero asterisk k t. For a free particle of mass m, the propagator can be evaluated either explicitly from the path integral or by noting that the Schrödinger equation is a diffusion equation in imaginary time, and the solution must be a normalized Gaussian. K x y t e i m x minus y two two t display style k x y t prop to e caret frac i'm x y caret two two t taking the Fourier transform in x minus y produces another Gaussian k p t equals e i t p 2 2 m display style k p t equals e caret frac i t p caret 2 2 meters and in p space the proportionality factor here is constant in time as will be verified in a moment the Fourier transform in time, extending k p t to be zero for negative times, gives Green's function, or the frequency space propagator g f p e equals minus i 
e minus p 2 2 m plus i epsilon Display style g underscore text f p e equals frac i e frac vec p caret two two meters plus i var epsilon, which is the reciprocal of the operator that annihilates the wave function in the Schrödinger equation, which wouldn't have come out right if the proportionality factor weren't constant in the p-space representation. The infinitesimal term in the denominator is a small positive number, which guarantees that the inverse Fourier transform in E will be non-zero only for future times. For past times, the inverse Fourier transform contour closes toward values of E where there is no singularity. This guarantees that K propagates the particle into the future and is the reason for the subscript F. On G the infinitesimal term can be interpreted as an infinitesimal rotation toward imaginary time. It is also possible to re-express the non-relativistic time evolution in terms of propagators going toward the past, since the Schrödinger equation is time-reversible. The past propagator is the same as the future propagator except for the obvious difference that it vanishes in the future, and in the Gaussian t is replaced by minus t. In this case, the interpretation is that these are the quantities to convolve the final wave function so as to get the initial wave function g b p E equals minus I minus E minus I P two two M plus I epsilon Display style g underscore text b p e equals frac i e frac i vec p caret two two meters plus i var epsilon. Given the nearly identical only change as the sign of e in epsilon, the parameter e in Green's function can either be the energy if the paths are going toward the future, or the negative of the energy if the paths are going toward the past. For a non-relativistic theory, the time is measured along the path of a moving particle and the time is measured by an outside observer are the same. In relativity, this is no longer true. For a relativistic theory the propagator should be defined as the sum over all paths that travel between two points in a fixed proper time, as measured along the path these paths describe the trajectory of a particle in space and in time. k x minus y T equals x zero equals x x T equals y e i zero T x two minus alpha d tau Display style k x y mathrm t equals int underscore x zero equals x caret x mathrm t equals y e caret i int underscore zero caret mathrm t sqrt dot x caret two alpha d tau. The integral above is not trivial to interpret because of the square root. Fortunately, there is a heuristic trick. The sum is over the relativistic arc length of the path of an oscillating quantity, and like the non-relativistic path integral should be interpreted as slightly rotated into imaginary time. The function k x minus y tau can be evaluated when the sum is over paths in Euclidean space k x minus y t equals e minus alpha T x zero equals x x t equals y e minus l display style k x y mathrm t equals e caret alpha mathrm t int underscore x zero equals x caret x mathrm t equals y e caret l this describes a sum over all paths of length tau of the exponential of minus the length. This can be given a probability interpretation. The sum over all paths is a probability average over a path constructed step by step. The total number of steps is proportional to tau, and each step is less likely the longer it is. 
By the central limit theorem, the result of many independent steps is a Gaussian of variance proportional to tau k x minus y t equals e minus alpha t e minus x minus y 2 t display style k x y mathrm t equals e caret alpha mathrm t e caret frac x y caret 2 mathrm t the usual definition of the relativistic propagator only asks for the amplitude as to travel from x to y after summing over all the possible proper times it could take k x minus y equals 0 infinity k x minus y t w t d t display style k x y equals int underscore 0 caret in t k x y mathrm t w mathrm t d mathrm t where w tau is a weight factor, the relative importance of paths of different proper time. By the translation symmetry in proper time, this weight can only be an exponential factor and can be absorbed into the constant alpha k x minus y equals 0 infinity e minus x minus y 2 t minus alpha t d t display style k x y equals int underscore 0 caret in t e caret frac x y caret 2 mathrm t alpha mathrm t d mathrm t this is the schwinger representation Taking a Fourier transform over the variable x minus y can be done for each value of tau separately, and because each separate tau contribution is a Gaussian, gives whose Fourier transform is another Gaussian with reciprocal width. So in p space, the propagator can be re-expressed simply k p equals zero infinity e minus t p. Two minus T alpha D T equals one P two plus alpha Display style k p equals int underscore zero carrot in t e carrot mathrm t p carrot two mathrm t alpha d mathrm t equals frac one p carrot two plus alpha, which is the Euclidean propagator for a scalar particle. Rotating p zero to be imaginary gives the usual relativistic propagator up to a factor of minus i and an ambiguity, which will be clarified below. K p equals i p 0 2 minus p 2 minus m 2 display style k p equals frac i p underscore 0 caret 2 vec p caret 2 m caret 2 this expression can be interpreted in the non-relativistic limit, where it is convenient to split it by partial fractions. Two p zero k p equals i p zero minus p two plus m two plus i P zero plus P two plus M two 
Display style two p underscore zero k p equals frac i p underscore zero sqrt vec p caret two plus m caret two plus frac i p underscore zero plus sqrt vec p caret two plus m caret two. For states where one nonrelativistic particle is present, the initial wave function has a frequency distribution concentrated near p zero. Topic m when convolving with the propagator, which in p space just means multiplying by the propagator, the second term is suppressed and the first term is enhanced. For frequencies near p zero, m the dominant first term has the form two m k n r p equals i P zero minus M minus P two two M Display style two M K underscore text N R P equals FRAC I P underscore zero M FRAC VEC P carrot two two meters This is the expression for the non relativistic Green's function of a free Schrödinger particle. The second term has a nonrelativistic limit also, but this limit is concentrated on frequencies that are negative. The second pole is dominated by contributions from paths where the proper time and the coordinate time are ticking in an opposite sense, which means that the second term is to be interpreted as the antiparticle. The nonrelativistic analysis shows that with this form the antiparticle still has positive energy. The proper way to express this mathematically is that, adding a small suppression factor in proper time, the limit where t minus infinity of the first term must vanish, while the t plus infinity limit of the second term must vanish. In the Fourier transform, this means shifting the pole in P0 slightly, so that the inverse Fourier transform will pick up a small decay factor in one of the time directions k p equals i p Zero minus p two plus m two plus i epsilon plus i p zero minus p two plus m two minus i Epsilon Display style K P equals FRAC I P underscore zero SQRT VEC P carrot two plus M carrot two plus I var epsilon plus FRAC I P underscore zero SQRT VEC P carrot two plus M carrot two I var epsilon Without these terms, the pole contribution could not be unambiguously evaluated when taking the inverse Fourier transform of P zero. The terms can be recombined. K P equals I P two minus M two plus I epsilon. Display style K P equals frac I P caret two M caret two plus I var epsilon which when factored, produces opposite sign infinitesimal terms in each factor. This is the mathematically precise form of the relativistic particle propagator, free of any ambiguities. The epsilon term introduces a small imaginary part to the alpha equals m2, which in the Minkowski version is a small exponential suppression of long paths. So in the relativistic case, the Feynman path integral representation of the propagator includes paths going backwards in time, which describe antiparticles. The paths that contribute to the relativistic propagator go forward and backwards in time, and the interpretation of this is that the amplitude for a free particle to travel between two points includes amplitudes for the particle to fluctuate into an antiparticle, travel back in time, then forward again. Unlike the non-relativistic case, it is impossible to produce a relativistic theory of local particle propagation without including antiparticles. All local differential operators have inverses that are non-zero outside the light cone, meaning that it is impossible to keep a particle from traveling faster than light. 
Such a particle cannot have a Green's function which is only non-zero in the future in a relativistically invariant theory. Topic: <laughs> Functionals of fields. However, the path integral formulation is also extremely important in direct application to quantum field theory, in which the paths or histories being considered are not the motions of a single particle, but the possible time evolutions of a field over all space. The action is referred to technically as a functional of the field, S phi, where the field phi x mu is itself a function of space and time, and the square brackets are a reminder that the action depends on all the field's values everywhere, not just some particular value. One such given function phi x mu of spacetime is called a field configuration. In principle, one integrates Feynman's amplitude over the class of all possible field configurations. Much of the formal study of QFT is devoted to the properties of the resulting functional integral, and much effort not yet entirely successful has been made toward making these functional integrals mathematically precise. Such a functional integral is extremely similar to the partition function in statistical mechanics. Indeed, it is sometimes called a partition function, and the two are essentially mathematically identical except for the factor of i in the exponent in Feynman's postulate 3. Analytically continuing the integral to an imaginary time variable called a wick rotation makes the functional integral even more like a statistical partition function and also tames some of the mathematical difficulties of working with these integrals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Expectation values. In quantum field theory, if the action is given by the functional S of field configurations which only depends locally on the fields, then the time-ordered vacuum expectation value of polynomially bounded functional F, F, is given by F equals D phi F phi E I S phi D phi E I S phi display style Langle F wrangle equals frac int math call D varphi F varphi E carrot I math call S varphi int math call D varphi E carrot I math call S varphi the symbol D phi here is a concise way to represent the infinite dimensional integral over all possible field configurations on all of spacetime. As stated above, the unadorned path integral in the denominator ensures proper normalization. As a probability Strictly speaking, the only question that can be asked in physics is, what fraction of states satisfying condition A also satisfy condition B? The answer to this is a number between 0 and 1, which can be interpreted as a conditional probability, written as P B A. In terms of path integration, since P B A equals P A B P A, this means P B A equals F B D Phi O in Phi E I S Phi F Phi two F a D Phi O in Phi E I S Phi F Phi two Display style operator name P B mid A equals FRAC sum underscore F subset A cap B left int math call D varphi O underscore text in varphi E carrot I math call S varphi F varphi right carrot two sum underscore F subset A left int math call D varphi O underscore text in varphi E carrot I math call S varphi F varphi right carrot two where the functional oin phi is the superposition of all incoming states that could lead to the states we are interested in. In particular, this could be a state corresponding to the state of the universe just after the Big Bang, although for actual calculation this can be simplified using heuristic methods. 
Since this expression is a quotient of path integrals, it is naturally normalized. Topic: <laughs> Schwinger-Dyson equations. Since this formulation of quantum mechanics is analogous to classical action principle, one might expect that identities concerning the action in classical mechanics would have quantum counterparts derivable from a functional integral. This is often the case. In the language of functional analysis, we can write the Euler-Lagrange equations as delta s phi delta phi equals zero. Display style frac delta math call s var phi delta var phi equals zero. The left-hand side is a functional derivative. The equation means that the action is stationary under small changes in the field configuration. The quantum analogs of these equations are called the Schwinger-Dyson equations. If the functional measure d phi turns out to be translationally invariant, we'll assume this for the rest of this article. Although this does not hold for, let's say, nonlinear sigma models, and if we assume that after a Wick rotation, e i s phi Display style e caret i math call s var phi, which now becomes e minus h phi. Display style e caret h var phi. For some h, it goes to zero faster than a reciprocal of any polynomial for large values of phi. Then we can integrate by parts after a Wick rotation, followed by a Wick rotation back to get the following Schwinger-Dyson equations for the expectation. Delta f phi delta phi equals minus i f phi delta s phi delta phi display style left angle frac delta f var phi delta var phi right wrangle equals i left angle f var phi frac delta math call s var phi delta var phi right wrangle for any polynomially bounded functional f in the dewitt notation this looks like f i equals minus i f s i Display style left Langle F underscore I right wrangle equals I left Langle F math call S underscore I right wrangle. These equations are the analogue of the on shell L equations. The time ordering is taken before the time derivatives inside the S, I. If J called the source field is an element of the dual space of the field configurations which has at least an affine structure because of the assumption of the translational invariance for the functional measure, then the generating functional Z of the source fields is defined to be Z J equals D phi E I S phi plus J Phi display style z j equals int math call d var phi e caret i left math call s var phi plus langle j var phi wrangle right. Note that delta n z delta j x one delta j x n j equals i n z j phi x 1 phi x n j Display style frac delta caret n z delta j x underscore one c d o t s delta j x underscore n j equals i caret n z j left langle var phi x underscore one c d o t s var phi x underscore n right wrangle underscore j or z i one i n j equals i n z j phi i 1 phi 
i n j display style z caret i underscore one c d o t s i underscore n j equals i caret n z j left langle varphi caret i underscore one c d o t s varphi caret i underscore n right wrangle underscore j where f j equals d phi f phi e i s phi plus j phi d phi e i s phi plus j phi Display style Langle F wrangle underscore J equals FRAC int math call D Varfi F Varfi E carrot I left math call S Varfi plus Langle J Varfi wrangle right int math call D Varfi E carrot I left math call S Varfi plus Langle J Varfi wrangle right Basically, if d phi i phi is viewed as a functional distribution, this shouldn't be taken too literally as an interpretation of QFT, unlike its wick rotated statistical mechanics analog, because we have time ordering complications here. Then phi x1 phi xn are its moments, and z is its Fourier transform. If f is a functional of phi, then for an operator k, f k is defined to be the operator that substitutes k for phi. For example, if f phi equals k 1 x 1 k 1 phi x 1 k n x n k n phi x n Display style f var phi equals frac partial caret k underscore one partial x underscore one caret k underscore one var phi x underscore one c d o t s frac partial caret k underscore n partial x underscore n caret k underscore n var phi x underscore n, and g is a functional of j, then f minus i delta Delta J G J equals minus I N K one X one K one Delta Delta J X one K N X N K N Delta Delta J X N G J Display style F left I F R A C Delta Delta J right G J equals I carrot N F R A C partial carrot K underscore one partial X underscore one carrot K underscore one F R A C Delta Delta J X underscore one C D O T S F R A C partial carrot K underscore N partial X underscore N carrot K underscore N F R A C Delta Delta J X underscore N G J then, from the properties of the functional integrals, delta s delta phi x phi plus j x j equals zero. Display style left Langle frac delta math call s delta var phi x var phi plus j x right wrangle underscore j equals zero. We get the master Schwinger Dyson equation delta s delta phi x minus i delta delta j z J plus J X Z J 
equals zero display style frac delta math call s delta var phi x left i frac delta delta j right z j plus j x z j equals zero or s i minus i z plus j i z equals zero display style math call s underscore i i partial z plus j underscore i z equals zero if the functional measure is not translationally invariant it might be possible to express it as the product m phi d phi where m is a functional and d phi is a translationally invariant measure this is true, for example, for nonlinear sigma models where the target space is diffeomorphic to Rn. However, if the target manifold is some topologically nontrivial space, the concept of a translation does not even make any sense. In that case, we would have to replace the s in this equation by another functional s caret equals south minus i lane m Display style hat math call s equals math call south i lane m. If we expand this equation as a Taylor series about j equals zero, we get the entire set of Schwinger Dyson equations. Equals. Topic localization. Equals. The path integrals are usually thought of as being the sum of all paths through an infinite spacetime. However, in local quantum field theory we would restrict everything to lie within a finite causally complete region, for example inside a double light cone. This gives a more mathematically precise and physically rigorous definition of quantum field theory. <laughs> Ward-Takahashi identities. Equals. Now, how about the Unshell-Noether's theorem for the classical case? Does it have a quantum analog as well? Yes, but with a caveat. The functional measure would have to be invariant under the one-parameter group of symmetry transformation as well. Let's just assume for simplicity here that the symmetry in question is local, not local in the sense of a gauge symmetry, but in the sense that the transformed value of the field at any given point under an infinitesimal transformation would only depend on the field configuration over an arbitrarily small neighborhood of the point in question. Let's also assume that the action is local in the sense that it is the integral over spacetime of a Lagrangian, and that Q L X equals mu f mu x display style q math call l x equals partial underscore mu f caret mu x for some function f where f only depends locally on phi and possibly the spacetime position if we don't assume any special boundary conditions this would not be a true symmetry in the true sense of the term in general unless f equals 0 or something here, Q is a derivation which generates the one-parameter group in question. We could have antiderivations as well, such as BRST and supersymmetry. Let's also assume D phi Q F phi equals zero. Display style int math call D var phi Q F var phi equals zero. For any polynomially bounded functional f this property is called the invariance of the measure. And this does not hold in general. See anomaly physics for more details. Then d phi q f e i s phi equals 0 Display style int math call d var phi q left phi caret is right var phi equals zero, which implies q f plus i f v f mu d s mu equals zero. 
Display style Langle Q F Wrangle plus I left Langle F int underscore partial V F carrot mu D S underscore mu right Wrangle equals zero where the integral is over the boundary. This is the quantum analog of Noether's theorem. Now, let's assume even further that Q is a local integral Q equals D D X Q X Display style Q equals int D carrot D X Q X where Q X Phi Y equals delta D X minus Y Q Phi Y Display style q x var phi y equals delta caret d x y q var phi y, so that q x s equals mu j mu x. Display style q x s equals partial underscore mu j caret mu x, where j mu X equals F mu X minus mu phi L X Q phi display style J caret mu X equals F caret mu X frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math call L X Q var phi this is assuming the Lagrangian only depends on phi and its first partial derivatives. More general Lagrangians would require a modification to this definition. Note that we're not insisting that Q X is the generator of a symmetry i.e. we are not insisting upon the gauge principle, but just that Q is. And we also assume the even stronger assumption that the functional measure is locally invariant. D phi Q X F Phi equals zero. Display style int math call d var phi q x f var phi equals zero. Then we would have q x f plus i f q x s equals q x f plus i f mu j mu x equals 0 display style langle q x f wrangle plus i langle f q x s wrangle equals langle q x f wrangle plus i left langle f partial underscore mu j caret mu x right wrangle equals 0 alternatively Q X S minus I Delta Delta J Z J plus J X Q Phi X minus I Delta Delta J Z J equals mu J mu X minus I delta delta J Z J plus J X Q Phi X minus I delta Delta J Z J equals zero. 
Display style Q X S left I F R A C delta delta J right Z J plus J X Q var phi X left I F R A C delta delta J right Z J equals partial underscore mu J carrot mu X left I F R A C delta delta J right Z J plus J X Q var phi X left I F R A C delta delta J right Z J equals zero the above two equations are the Ward Takahashi identities. Now, for the case where f equals 0, we can forget about all the boundary conditions and locality assumptions. We'd simply have q f equals 0. Display style left angle q f right wrangle equals 0. Alternatively, d d x j x q phi x minus i delta delta j z j equals 0 Display style int d caret d x j x q var phi x left i f r a c delta delta j right z j equals 0 Topic: The need for regulators and renormalization. Path integrals, as they are defined here, require the introduction of regulators. Changing the scale of the regulator leads to the renormalization group. In fact, renormalization is the major obstruction to making path integrals well defined. Topic: The path integral in quantum mechanical interpretation. In one interpretation of quantum mechanics, the sum over histories interpretation, the path integral is taken to be fundamental, and reality is viewed as a single indistinguishable class of paths that all share the same events. For this interpretation, it is crucial to understand what exactly an event is. The sum over histories method gives identical results to canonical quantum mechanics, and Sinha and Sorkin claim the interpretation explains the Einstein Podolsky Rosen paradox without resorting to nonlocality. Some advocates of interpretations of quantum mechanics emphasizing decoherence have attempted to make more rigorous the notion of extracting a classical like coarse grained history from the space of all possible histories. Quantum gravity Whereas in quantum mechanics the path integral formulation is fully equivalent to other formulations, it may be that it can be extended to quantum gravity, which would make it different from the Hilbert space model. Feynman had some success in this direction, and his work has been extended by Hawking and others. Approaches that use this method include causal dynamical triangulations and spinfoam models. Topic. Quantum tunneling Quantum tunneling can be modeled by using the path integral formation to determine the action of the trajectory through a potential barrier. Using the WKB approximation, the tunneling rate gamma can be determined to be of the form gamma equals A O EXP minus S E F F display style gamma equals a underscore mathrm o e x p left frac s underscore mathrm f h b a r right with the effective action ceph and pre exponential factor al. This form is specifically useful in a dissipative system in which the systems and surroundings must be modeled together. Using the Langevin equation to model Brownian motion, the path integral formation can be used to determine an effective action and pre-exponential model to see the effect of dissipation on tunneling. From this model, tunneling rates of macroscopic systems at finite temperatures can be predicted. Topic: See also Theoretical and experimental justification for the Schrödinger equation Static forces and virtual particle exchange 
Feynman checkerboard Barisan integral Propagators Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory Feynman KAC formula Topic Remarks equals equals notes <laughs>